This screencast will walk you through how to create really elegant, beautiful videos using the combination of Jing Pro and iMovie 08 or 09. So the first thing you want to do is you want to come into iMovie and create a new project. Go ahead and call that Jing iMovie. And we'll keep it at a 16-9 aspect ratio. And you want to make sure you record your content at a 16-9 aspect ratio as well. Now that I've got this Jing iMovie project, I need to import some Jing Media in. So let's go ahead and choose File, Import. We'll import movies. Go ahead and select this uh, Jing video I recorded uh, earlier. And we'll go ahead and import that. A couple things. Create a new event. I'm just going to call this Jing's. We'll copy the files into the project. Choose import. And now it's going to take iMovie a, a couple minutes here to generate thumbnails and copy things over. Okay, once the video is finished importing, you'll see this nice little preview here down here in the clip bin and you'll also notice that over here there's an event called Jinx which we created so that's where all these clips would be uh, imported into. The first thing you want to do is then start selecting little bits of this clip that you might want to add to your video. And let's see I want to do a chunk there and then maybe I want to come over and I want to do a chunk right here. Okay. Now if you want to get granular and really refine these edits, you can actually come in and pop into uh, a little editing mode here, listen to these clips. So, first thing we're going to... Yeah, you know, that, that sort of point can be brought up a little bit or something like that, so move it in a little bit. The other thing is, is you might want to add a nice transition to it. So let's pop over into the transitions, and we'll do this nice little cube transition. Just drag that in between there. And now you'll notice when I preview this up here just by scrubbing, I get that nice little cube rotate. Another thing that you might want to do is you might want to add a low, lower third, a little introductory uh, text to kind of supplement the video. So we're going to come down here, and because this video is primarily white, we're going to use a nice little gradient black lower third here. So I'm going to grab that, and I'm going to actually drop it on this clip right here. And I'll do something like type in some text here. When you're done with that uh, lower third titling, push done. Again, we'll preview it. See the lower third fades in and fades out. Now, what I want to do is I actually want to trim this uh, this lower third a little bit. So I'm going to bring it back. I'm not going to have it the entire duration. I'm going to have it start just after the beginning of this clip. So again, so first thing we're going to do is we're going to pop into so that nice little lower third. Maybe I want to add an intro slide here too. Maybe right here. Okay, I'm happy with that. Again, if I if I wanted to, maybe let's come in and do a transition here. Maybe a fade through black. Let's, let's drop that right up in there. See how that works out. Okay, that looks good. Uh, maybe the last thing we want to do is add some credits here. So again, I'm going to come back to the titling panel and Let's just see, maybe some scrolling credits, all right? I'll drop that on there. And we'll type in, let's say done. And we'll add a little transition. Okay, so I've got a pretty complete little uh, setup here. Now, there's some really neat things you can do in here as well with, uh, say, audio in your clips. So let's pop over, let's roll over the audio clip here. Um, I could normalize the clip volume. If I had multiple clips, this is really handy when you've done multiple recordings, you wanted to even out the noise. Uh, I'm not going to do anything there. The other thing you can do is you can actually crop the video. So in this case right here, looks like maybe over here I've got this flex skin template. Maybe I want to really emphasize that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually kind of come over to the, the crop tool here. I'm going to click on that, and I get this little panel. And you can see these, these little green line outline is around this. So I'm just going to go ahead and grab that. And it constrains the aspect ratio, so I don't have to worry about it. And maybe, maybe that's a little too small. Maybe too good a job on the crop there. Okay. Maybe something about like that. So now I'm just going to push done. And now you'll notice that uh, we transition into that real nice tight shot there. Okay, so I'm pretty happy with this for a quick and dirty screencast. Um, 
if I was doing something a little bit more professional, I might get in here and really manipulate the in inpoints and endpoints, but, but this is pretty good. Now it's time to share this. So I want to come up here and I want to choose share. And I have a few different options. I can do just regular export movie, in which case I'll be presented with uh, some options like uh, tiny, uh, medium, large. Um, this is pretty useful if you're uh, in lower dimensions. Let's say you made some Jing recordings that were 640 by 360 or 960 by 540, pretty handy. Or you just wanted to scale things down. It's pretty decent. And it, it's nice because it gives you an idea of, of what fits with what. The iPhone, the YouTube, that kind of stuff. These dimensions that are... Uh, uh, appropriate for these these destinations. I actually don't want to do this. I want to do a professional level HD to a 720p export. So I'm going to come up here now to share and this time I'm going to choose export using QuickTime. So you want to make sure you're in the MPEG-4 and you pop into the options panel, change your data rate. I'm going to say I'm pretty happy with 825 kilobits a second. Um, I do want the H.264 codec image size. Uh, one thing to be aware of is the first time you come in here, it'll say current. And the current for uh, iMovie is not the actual media dimensions that you recorded at. So I came in here and I changed this because I knew I recorded at uh, 1280 by 720 and I wanted those dimensions. So I selected those. Specifically, I'm going to optimize for download. Um, I definitely want to preserve aspect ratio if I have different clips in that. And current frame rate is going to be fine. With your audio settings, I definitely recommend doing something like AAC audio and maybe dropping the data rate down to something like uh, 64 kilobits per second. Um, lower data rates is uh, really where AAC uh, shines above things like uh, MP3. So you know, don't be afraid to drop it down a little bit. And uh, we definitely want the encoding quality to be the best here. Okay, So we'll say OK. We'll give this a name, Jing iMovie. 720p maybe. Choose save. And now it's going to export that video out. Okay, now that the video has finished rendering, we'll go ahead and take a look at it and preview what we've got here. So, first thing we're going to do is we're going to pop into Adobe Illustrator. Okay, so you can see the quality is actually uh, really good. Despite the fact that we started off with compressed video and we re encoded, uh, we actually have a real neat little screencast here. So, Hope that helps. Enjoy.